All right, good evening. Welcome to Easy Friday tonight. My name is John Kagu. Uh, President William Ruto accused the opposition of applying the Constitution sparingly. The head of state says that his administration will not condone impunity. Now, these are remarks echoed by his deputy, uh, Rigadi Gashagwa, who said the Constitution does not allow for destruction of property. Timothy Kipnusul has more details on this. <laughs> Speaking during the launch of Public Service Commission Values and Principles Compliance Report in Nairobi, the head of state says the weekly protests by the Azimio coalition are clawing back the gains that the country has made. It is my position that the constitution did not envisage that different opinions would result in chaos or loss of property or loss of life. We must all of us be able to celebrate all the rights provided for in our constitution in a manner that respects the rights of others and also in a manner that does not destroy property or in a manner that does not make our children not go to school. I think we can do that. We are mature enough to be able to do that. And I hope that all of us will begin to understand where we must go. President Ruto regretted the destruction of property and loss of life during the protest and eyed the Azimio leader to put to an end what he termed as impunity. He said impunity will not dictate Kenya's political discourse as the country is a respecter of the rule of law. We are a robust uh, um, democracy. We believe in the rule of law and it is my contention that the constitution even as it provided for us to have divergent opinions and we should in fact something would be very wrong with us if we agreed on everything all the time remarks that were echoed by his deputy president regarding gashagwa who said the supreme court certified the august polls as open and democratically sound he maintained there will be no talks with the opposition over the purported political impasse. President William Ruto took the Bible before God and before man in Kasarani and so to protect the constitution. Those who are asking him to violate that constitution are being unfair to him. There is no constitutional provision in our constitution for a handshake arrangement. Their remarks come just a day after police repulsed as mere protesters at Kwara in Pipeline, Embakasi South, with Raila claiming that there was a plot to assassinate him during the protest. 